The second one that I'm going to put to you was done by William McKinley, who in past years, in past presidencies, they were trying to uh, eliminate his name, just like they would want to do with anybody that is uh, a freedom lover when it comes to people on the far left who are trying to destroy your freedoms. Um, this talk was given at a dedication of a monument to those of the Civil War in Cuyahoga County, Ohio. And there's a lot in there that talks about uh, a lot of the good that these soldiers did. Um, but there was a lot of patriotism in there. And one of these paragraphs I wanted to read to you. Is it any wonder that the soldier loves the flag under whose folds he fought and for which his comrade shed so much blood. He loves it for what it is and what it represents. It embodies the purpose and his history of the government itself. It records the achievements of its defenders upon land and sea. It heralds heroism and sacrifice of the Revolutionary Fathers who planted free government on this continent and dedicated it to liberty forever. It attests the struggles of our army and the valor of our citizens in all the wars of the Republic. It has been sanctified by the blood of our best and our bravest. It records the achievements of Washington and the martyrdom of Lincoln it has been bathed in the tears of the sorrowing people. It has been glorified in the hearts of the freedom-loving people, not only at home, but in every part of the world. Our flag expresses more than any other flag. It means more than any other national emblem. It expresses the will of a free people and proclaims that they are supreme and that they acknowledge no earthly sovereign other than themselves. It never was assaulted that thousands did not rise up to smite the assailant. Glorious old banner. Well, you can gather exactly what he's thinking about the flag and what he thinks about the United States. Everyone in the past understood that, yes, this is the greatest nation on the planet. Those who say it isn't are fooling themselves and they're trying to fool you. No place on earth is granted more prosperity, more freedom, and more glories than any other. This has been the best nation and still is the best nation that the planet has ever seen and it will continue to do so regardless of its distractors. McKinley knew that, Lincoln knew that, Washington and the men who established the country knew that and I certainly hope on this 4th of July, you know it as well.